Beep, 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 beep. Oh, we need water and feet, huh? He's gotta catch the fish. Move him over here where he can. Don't let the shark get him. You just gotta get him under the fish. See, he's gonna eat a fish. <gasps> he got one. Get him away from the shark. Hey, Miss Turkey. Hey, Miss Turkey. She's coming to see us. Walmart bag. You need a Walmart bag? No, Jonah. Oh, Jonah needs a Walmart bag. Okay. Well, an Aldi bag works? Yeah. Okay. Is it little? Yes, little. Welcome back, everybody. It's the day after Christmas, and we have yet again another rainy day. It rained all day long yesterday. Last night we even had thunderstorms. You know what they say, thunderstorms in the winter mean snow is coming. Some of y'all told me that years ago, and so far, every time there's been a thunderstorm in the winter, within a week we get snow. It happens, so we'll see. We did have thunderstorms last night. It, I don't think it's raining at the moment. If it is, it's just barely sprinkling. So Cece's trying to talk Jonah into going out and ride their bikes, I think. Yeah, she's trying to talk him into it. He doesn't want to get his bicycle dirty. It is really sloppy out there. You know how it is with a new bike. You don't want to get it dirty. Not yet. Yeah, we hate sloppy days. <laughs> so, we're starting a new tradition. Hopefully it turns out right because I know that Titus and the kids will love this cake. We're gonna call it the after Christmas cake. It's also known as the Southern Little Layer Cake or just a Little Layer Cake. I've seen them before, but I've never made one. So it's a homemade, pretty much like a homemade yellow cake, but you make the layers extremely thin, like very, very thin. And then you put chocolate in between each layer, but the chocolate is kind of like the chocolate that they love for chocolate biscuits. It's the chocolate gravy that we make. It's kind of like that, but just a little bit thicker than we make the chocolate gravy. Y'all might make the chocolate gravy the same thickness, but we usually make it pretty thin. That's just how we like it. But this for the frosting for the cake is gonna be a little thicker. We're gonna give this a try. If it turns out right, new tradition, the day after Christmas cake. That's how you beat the after Christmas blues. You just keep on doing fun things. Don't stop playing that Christmas music. Don't stop calling people come up with an after Christmas tradition. Okay, so we have some eggs here. They need to be room temperature, so they've been sitting out. We need half a dozen, and we need butter. Now, this is a special treat cake. This is definitely not one, you know, that you would probably wanna make often because you have to take the time to bake all these tiny little layers. Plus, this chocolate frosting is, um, it's chocolatey, and it's sweet. It's a special cake for a special day, the day after Christmas cake. Let me get my apron, because I'm sure I'm gonna need it. We're gonna preheat the oven to 350. My Gooseberry Patch cookbook had a blank page in the back, so that's where I wrote down the recipe. So however many of these eight inch round cake pans you have, you just wanna get those out and grease them. You can line them with some parchment paper too if you have some. I don't have any, so I'm just gonna grease and flour mine. And they only have to bake for 10 to 12 minutes, so the thing that's gonna take the longest is having to you know, wait for the pan so you can bake the other ones because you don't have to wait to frost the cake. You're gonna put the frosting on the cake while it's hot, so you don't have to wait for them to really cool down a lot or anything. It's just waiting on those cake layers to get done. Okay, first we will make the cake batter. We start with two sticks of butter, and they need to be softened. This has been out for a little while, but it's not quite softened enough, so I'm gonna put it in here in the microwave on defrost for just a few seconds. Half a cup of shortening. I'm just gonna eyeball this. And two and a half cups of sugar. All right, so we're gonna cream all that together. Now we need half a dozen eggs and we're gonna add them one at a time. All right, we're gonna put two teaspoons of vanilla. And we'll sit that in there with the sugar because we need the sugar and the vanilla for the frosting. We're gonna put in four and a half cups of all-purpose flour and I'm gonna do it a little bit at a time with one and a half teaspoons of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of salt. We're gonna alternate those dry ingredients with three cups of warmed milk. So I need to go ahead and warm the milk real quick. Be back, I must go in here and get some milk out of the refrigerator. Wait, wait for me, mama. Okay. I'm just gonna heat it for about 
45 seconds. Okay, we've got these two pans ready. We're gonna put one cup of the batter into each pan and bake them until we get 10 layers. When the last two are in the oven, we'll start the frosting. And you make this frosting two times or you can just go ahead and make a double batch of the frosting. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do a double batch instead of making it twice. You make one batch that goes in between all the layers and it's gonna be you know, a little runny so some of it's gonna run off. So then you make another batch to pour over the top to cover in all the spots that got missed and the spots that ran off. But yeah, we'll, we'll just go ahead and make the whole amount at one time. I wanna make sure we do one cup in each one so that our layers are the same size. Let me get a spatula to scoop this out with. All right, we're gonna spread it out. You're clapping? Mm -hmm. Okay, these two are ready. Going in for 10 minutes. All right, y'all, so the first two, the first one did okay. The second one fell apart, as y'all saw. So I baked these for about 14 minutes this time instead of the first ones I did for 12 minutes and just a little over 12 minutes, maybe 12 minutes and 20 seconds. These I baked for about 14 minutes, maybe just a little over. So hopefully these are sturdy enough now that when I flip, boom, they stay together. That's perfect. So 14 minutes is what it's looking like is working for my oven. It'll be different, you know, with different ovens. My other oven probably would have cooked them and ate that thing angry cooked. Also, I just want to tell y'all, I tasted of that one that fell apart. This is not a normal cake right here. I mean, I could eat that cake just by itself. It is really good. It almost tastes like a pound cake, but it's fluffy, not very dense, you know? It almost reminds me of sugar cookie in cake form. It is wonderful. I found the easiest way to spread these too is to pick up the pan and kind of tilt it in the direction that you need it to go. And it spreads really evenly. Okay, y'all. We're going to go ahead and mix together the sugars and cocoa powder that we need for the frosting. This recipe was a little bit confusing. It wasn't clear if she had already doubled the frosting recipe and that's what was below or you were supposed to double what was, you know, what she had there. So we're gonna double it. If we end up with a lot more frosting than we need, we'll just save it for something else or have some chocolate gravy biscuits sometime this week. <laughs> Cause this is gonna make a lot I feel like I mean a lot a lot but this is gonna be you know there are ten of these little layers on this cake but they're really little so we'll find out what happens here I mean I'm feeling like what the recipe she had was doubled but she said to make the frosting again later on in the recipe so we'll see okay we'll set that over to the side we're also gonna need some heavy cream, a little bit of milk, salt, and vanilla. 50 years later, we're still making cakes, cake layers. I have two in the oven now, and then I'm gonna have one more. Okay, these two are done. I sure hope the frosting turns out right because this cake is taking a long time. If I had four cake pans, I would have already had all the layers done, but, and I thought I had three or four, but I could only find two. I'm sure the other ones are around here somewhere. Probably deep in a cabinet, I didn't dig deep. We're gonna go ahead and start the frosting because I just have this one more layer that's so about to go in the oven. So we've got the butter melting in here. Like I said, y'all, this makes a lot of frosting. I'm feeling like what she meant to say was I've already doubled this recipe. We shall see. I didn't want a chance not having enough when it comes time to frost the cake, so followed what she said, but I'm, I'm feeling like, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Okay, this butter is melting fast. I'm gonna go ahead and start adding in the sugars and we're gonna put in the milk and cream mixture. A lot of it's gonna run off too. We have to think about that. We'll go ahead and put in the milk and cream mixture. 
So we're gonna bring this to a boil and let it boil for about two to three minutes. Then we're gonna add in some vanilla and salt. We are boiling, I'm gonna set a two minute timer. We've turned it down to low, we're putting in the salt and the vanilla. When we get this mixed in, we're gonna remove it from the heat and we'll go over here and go ahead and start frosting. Now, it's gonna run off, so I have the cake stand on top of this little reindeer plate here. I actually need something though that it can go up under, I think. We're gonna need something a little bigger. I think you probably need to, on the safe side, when you get up this tall, you need to put like a skewer in on both sides to hold this thing together. Yeah, but I feel like that's cheating. Well, baby, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to, you know what I'm saying? Some cakes ain't made to be pretty anyway, they're made to be good. Oh yeah, well this one, you can, once the frosting sets, you can clean up, you know, make it look better. Right. <laughs> You just kind of want to look at, you know, sometimes on your cake, you'll have one side to be a little thicker than the other. You, you kind of want to look at that when you're building this tower. You don't say. I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> this is a cake, now you don't go around worry about putting frosting on the side. Well, we pour this, we pour a lot over the top here in We a pour it all over the top. Mm-hmm, you'll see. I'll see here in a minute. <laughs> we got people coming in left and right wanting to taste test the frosting. That frosting's good, y'all. We'll let this just sit for push, about... Push that one this way, baby. Push this way? Yep. Push. Is that good? Just a little bit more. That'll work. Now we just let it sit for about 10 minutes, then we put some more of that on top. If you got a strawberry, just stick it right up under there. That's it. Leftovers for supper. We're gonna try to do this right here, everybody, but y'all remember the last flop. We keep it real here, everybody. Do that little grab. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look. It ain't gonna stand up. We're gonna just lay it right We're down gonna, right here. This is purpose, a purposeful. I'm gonna lay it down on purpose. Flop. <laughs> Beautiful. That makes a pretty cake. That's super, super, super. Some folks been wondering about me losing weight. Yeah, what happened to half of you? Okay, well, let me explain. <laughs> You told them about it when you first started. First, you started with the carnivore. I started with that carnivore deal. And because of inflammation, ma I've mainly. I had some inflammation with, you know, uh, my back. To be expected. I mean, you know, I've been shooting horses a long time and done a lot of hard work, so. But anyway, uh, I stopped drinking all sugar in my tea. I only drank black coffee and unsweet tea, mostly. I stopped eating all French fries and I stopped eating bread for several months, so. But he's back on bread. I'm back on cake and everything <laughs> now because I was afraid I was gonna disappear. <laughs> I went from uh, probably 205 down to 168. And he, he did uh, do the Lose It app for a little while like I was doing yeah, that Lose It uh, app. And I lost a lot of weight and I think about 170 to 175 is the reason I'm here tonight with this. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting back up to about 170 to 175, but, but I mostly, had to do it because I got to be honest with you, I had a lot of inflammation. Some people were wanting to know how you did it. Mostly it was that Lose It app and it, it's counting calories. Taking away the bread and the potatoes was how you were able to stay under under those calories. That's how, you exactly. know. Exactly, because I used to eat french fries every day, several times a day. But he, he's back on french fries now I'm too. I'm back on so, french yeah. fries, I'm back on, I'm back on everything, you know? And I'm just gonna kind of watch it because you know, we it, almost it, couldn't see him sometimes. I didn't well, know he was in the room. <laughs> also, he accidentally messed up his beard the other day, and that well, took that about two a, pounds off his face. That thing, <laughs> I, th I had to set on the longest setting, and right when I went up, I knew, I said, I just messed up. Here's what's left of the cake. About half of it, maybe a little less than half of it. Um, I had to clean up all that, you know, where the chocolate just, you know, 
So I just cut it in half and put it on this plate. Was it worth making all those layers and all of that stuff? Yes. When it was all said and done, ready to slice into was about four hours. But I was doing stuff with the kids in between and I only had two of the round cake pans in action. I know I have some more somewhere around here, but I was only using two, so. Would it be worth another four hours though? Yes. Oh, and here's Jake and there's Tyler. Tyler, turn around. Look at them. People have a hard time telling y'all apart if you're not side by side. But yeah, this is how much chocolate is left over. Definitely enough for some chocolate gravy biscuits sometime. Here's how the puzzle's coming along. I helped with, what pieces did I help you with, Tyler, this one? Yeah, I think this piece right here. Just that little section. There's Wayne Newton singing on Bonanza. We should make some popcorn strands for the tree. Where's my tea? Where's yeah. my new one? You want to um, use this new one tonight? Is it tickly? Uh-uh. It never tickles me. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, there you go, sir. You that have was... a lovely day. 